good afternoon to all of you this is ranjan from smartfinancein.com and in this particular video i am going to give you a brief description about the gan tetrahedron so what is gan tetrahedron how it is important all these things i will tell you in a very small way it has lot many applications so here to start with it is just a spiral arrangement of natural numbers in odd series that means one row will have one number then the second row will have three numbers the third row will have five numbers like this way this tetrahedron will be completed and normally if you look at the tetrahedron so right hand side i have given you the image of a tetrahedron standing on top of a sphere and this particular tetrahedron is having a base as a triangle and three sides also triangle our gan tetrahedron is slightly different this is a geometrical tetrahedron the gan tetrahedron is slightly different and it looks like this it has one number here start with the natural number 1 goes to 2 3 4 so 2 3 4 you are able to see here then again starts with 5 goes to 9 so the first row is having one number then three numbers then five numbers then seven numbers all odd number of numbers it is there and it continues like this so this particular tetrahedron why it is important that we have to understand then we will understand these numbers how these numbers are important for us and all these things so this is a odd number series arranged in a spiral manner so now question comes is a tetrahedron a pyramid no tetrahedron is not a pyramid it is a special pyramid it is a pyramid of triangular base normal the pyramids are having polygon as a base however this is a special pyramid having triangular base so this is what the tetrahedron and the normal pyramid differs what is the significance of this numbers 1 3 5 7 9 etc so these numbers are present in our body so these numbers like fibonacci ratio these numbers very well present in our body if you see we have five fingers so most of us having five fingers some people will be having slightly six or seven that is different but majority of the people will be having five fingers then we have nine gateways two nostrils for breathing two eyes two ears one mouth then for excretions we have two gateways so nine gateways total we have in our body so these five nine are odd numbers now coming to the tetrahedron part so the tetrahedron what we are talking about it is gan tetrahedron so here i am just taking one part of the tetrahedron in a two dimensional space so in this two dimensional space we are talking about a tetrahedron where the natural numbers are arranged and this is the main axis of the tetrahedron and this is the left axis and this is the right axis so you can say if you are facing towards the screen your right hand side is right axis your left hand side is left axis it is the center axis so these are the axis of the particular tetrahedron and if you you can say that here the numbers are very important so here four this is nine again square square of three this is square of four this is square of five square of six square of seven square of eight so 3 4 5 6 7 8 like this way you can say that all these numbers are the square numbers it is square of one particular number what is that square of particular number you can see here 4 so here you are getting 3 three. 3 is present here so now you got a 4 here so this 4 comes here then you got a 5 it represents here 
So if you join this square, so that is what I'm saying here, these numbers presents one square. So if I join that, say three, I am joining to nine. Now this is six, 16. So this four, I am joining to 16. Now this five is joined to 25. Then I have six, which is joined to 36. So I'm just drawing in a hand drawing. So it may be little ugly you will be looking like, but this joins to 49. So by this process, if you keep on joining this lines, that will also give you a spiral arrangement. Very complex spiral arrangement you will get. And this complex spiral arrangement will be a four dimensional picture of a neural network. So this is what you are going to get it from that. Now I will be doing a little bit of number studies out of that. So I have taken left axis, right axis and center axis. So I am just going to do, this is the left axis numbers, 1, 2, 5, 10 till 325. Here this is the center axis, 137, 343. And here to right, right axis, because this is the first number, this one, this one, this one. However, here we do not have anything. Here also we do not have anything. Starts with one. So left, center, or middle, and right. These numbers I have there. I have also told you how these numbers are square of one one number. So these all are the square of one natural number. This is a square of nine. So this is square of ten. This is square of eleven. Square of twelve. Square of thirteen. Square of fourteen. Like this way, it goes up. And it is a very important study. So let us do some random analysis on that and see that how it reflects. So you can see that this is what the tetrahedron represents. However, if I just put these numbers and divide the left number with the right number, so I am getting few numbers, 0 0.9, 0 0.8 and now. If I just take the average of that number, average of these numbers, yeah, I am getting 0.794 and if I just remove this, remove this part and take the average of till these things 0 0.782. 0 0.782 is again very close near to one of the Fibonacci ratio. Now similar way, left and middle number if I just take the ratio and take the average, it is 0 0.872. We have a Fibonacci ratio point triple eight. Same way, middle and right, if I can make it, it is again saying that 0 0.891. So this is also representing one of the Fibonacci ratio. Left plus middle divided by right, if I make that, that is giving me 1.674. So all these things I am giving you a clue how related this average of these numbers with one Fibonacci ratio or related number to Fibonacci ratio. So here to also 2.470 and here to also one divisions I am making that is 0.718 all are related number to this. If I establish say angular relation between the left and right number, majority cases I am getting 170 degrees. If I just leave few steps then everything it is stabilizing at 170 to 175 degrees. So the left number and right number are related with 175 degree relationship. And this 175 degree relationship also is very, very vital as per the GAN study. So this speaks about every spiral in tetrahedron focusing towards a stability the average of all these ratios focus towards the single Fibonacci ratio. So all these things say that it is a very complex figure and very important figure. And for that, one thing is common here. It always focuses towards stability. So this ratio, once it is focusing towards stability, definitely it has specific meaning. So that you can get where to use this particular tetrahedron and how to get benefited from tetrahedron, you can get in the complete 40 hours GAN course. So it is a very interesting 
subject and very advanced concept of the gan and this in future i am going to bring many new concept associated with the tetrahedron which is going to change the entire scenario so keep watching this video share this video with your friends if you are a gan lover and if you really want to learn the gan stuff do some experiments here i have given you the clue how these particular ratios are related you can find out if you have a right intent and interest you can find out many such kind of fibonacci ratio relationship or wave relationship out of this so keep watching this video and if you are having a complete interest to know how to use these things in my analysis then go for a 40 hours wd gan course available in my website smartfinancein.com so you visit our smartfinancein.com website under the products section under the course segment you will get a 40 hours of wd gan course and this is from the basics to master everything is there and you will get many things related to the gans method and gans part of analysis thank you very much thank you for your time